Greetings, Commanders! The Pumpkin Bots have returned just weeks after Halloween for the Thanksgiving two-week-long event. Of course, that'll be the, the main subject of what we talk about today. But of course, there's a bunch of other stuff going on. There's a new Thanksgiving redemption code to talk about. Uh, the Civil War on my own server is starting to settle down for uh, plans for the Galactic Battle playoffs, which are just a few weeks away. Uh, there is a peak contest competition that's been going kind of wild. If you guys have noticed, the top 1,000 is a lot harder to rank up in. And uh, MB55 is still broken. And then uh, we've got a new t-shirt contest. That's right. We have a t-shirt contest coming. Patreon announced they're going to let us make t-shirts. So I'm trying to get official licensing from Seven Pirates to use Ark of War stuff. Um, I don't know if they're going to go for it. But in the meantime, we're going to run a contest. So for the next three weeks or so, we are going to be allowing people to submit art, commission art, and just send ideas. And then I'm going to have an official like voting contest. Anyone that actually wants the shirt, uh, wants the shirt, it's going to be given away as a gift through Patreon as a three-month thing like we did the poster thing, the Champions of Eight. Uh, so we'll be talking about that at the end. But let's get into yesterday's video. NB55 doing 50 times the base damage of what he should be doing. NB55, for those of you guys didn't see the video, Armor Crusher. This skill here, um, it basically lets him ignore 90% of a single slot of uh, defense on his opponent's slot. So basically he triggers it, the guy from across him and loses 90% of his defense. No big deal, doesn't hit that hard. It's not like a, a unique skill, it's not a guaranteed hit, it's nothing special about it. But if the front row triggers it and the back row... Uh, all of a sudden, that slot has minus 180% defense and basically lets him do, like, not infinite damage, but stupid amounts of damage, like 50 to 100 times normal damage, because the defense modifier is gone. Um, it's pretty wild. It's probably going to be hot fixed, but until then, I mean, it's listen, it takes a special condition for that to happen. Um, I don't want to cover it too much because I covered it yesterday, but basically Leo gems plus an armor debuff may do wild things. So if you're into theory crafting and you want to try this stuff out, um, now with the be able to, the now with commanders being able to have their skills leveled up and not have to absorb them anymore, uh, you can just you know level these skills up and keep these commanders forever. You don't have to just reabsorb them every time. You can just add magazines directly now, so commanders stay forever in a weird way. All right, uh, let's talk about oh the civil war. Yeah, so the, the civil war on our server with uh, money and Odad and all the big players uh, was kind of like just people having fun, kind of enjoying the the preseason. I mean, it's still galactic battle season, uh, but it has kind of settled down. I, I we have talks currently ongoing, which I will say pending for now to bring in another big guild or two. Uh, anyway, it slowed down on my server, so that's kind of an update for you guys that are following it. The new redemption code should be, they post it on their Facebook. Every month or so, they do like a free giveaway on their Facebook for the first 40,000 people. So, Thanksgiving Gay. Now, let's do Day instead. That should do it right there. Thanksgiving Day. Ta-da! So, 20 free Cosmic Crystals, 50 mags, 20 Shadow Man. Hey, listen, free stuff. We'll take it, right? Okay. Uh, next. Next. Thanksgiving is going to be a 14-day long event. It's going to start off with buy one, get one mags, four days of that, probably followed by uh, an buy one, get one mags, and then buy one, get one resources like they normally do. They're starting us off with a 13-day galactic oracle, oracle, which is fine because the thing you get in the oracle uh, allows you to buy the uh, the items they've, they've released. So uh, they may sprinkle in like a release 10 and uh, maybe even an endless. They occasionally do that in endless event. Uh, here's what's up for grabs. Honestly, not the most exciting event, um, but hey, listen, if you're waiting for Speed of God pants because you want to dodge Resistance Weekend pants, there you go. They're not really best in slot for anything right now. They're more of a versatile build. Um, Void chest piece is actually really good. It's still really good for infantry. Infantry fights, and honestly, Gilly versus anyone that doesn't have a guaranteed hit is pretty good. Um, the creator armor, I'm not too thrilled about. Honestly, that's like the one I could pass on. But you can still see some play in the Invincible chest um, at the highest level of the game. Now, of course, getting up to Tier 10, Tier 11, Tier 12, these are always useful. So grab these if you can. Uh, you can do the uh, Oracle to grab the Laser Crystals. And then the Postcards, you have to exchange for them. And then the Bouquets... Uh, you can also exchange. I think there may be other ways to get them. We'll see. Uh, the pumpkin slices you get from killing pumpkins. Uh, and here's how you get the bouquets and 
postcards. So, uh, the, the like I said, kill pumpkins and farm tiles. There's nano leathers out there. Level 13 tiles are higher. Uh, Shadow Matter also collects it at a certain rate. I always forget what the Shadow Matter is. I haven't collected it in years. Uh, magazine racks for the nano leather. So you get to eat up all the stuff you've, you've collected. Of course, there is alt skins. The Easter Vega. I don't know why they're releasing Easter Vega during Thanksgiving, but we'll take it. Wish there would have been an alt skin, but maybe there is one coming. There are rumors that there is one coming. But... Uh, uh, what else can you get pretty affordably? Some strength and weaken effect destruction items, which is the only way to get... Well, you can get Wild Rose destruction in the weapons. But overall, I mean, listen, this stuff, none of this stuff is is absolute uh, must purchase. But you do have to do a ton of faction tasks if you want it. Speaking of faction quests, that's kind of the big deal, right? Part of this exchange is that the more you charge gold, uh, the more key of time and space greens you get... So that you can unlock uh, those faction commander chests. Now, uh, spending gold, you know, uh, charging gold uh, is what allows this, right? 15,000 gold is $100. If you send gold to an ally, if you buy the $100 gift in the guild, that's 69,990 gold. It's like four and a half times the value. Uh, and you can instantly unlock this tier and all the green tokens. So if you just spent the $100 on a guildmate instead of yourself, it's four times more effective to do that. Uh, that being said, gold use also unlocks these keys of time and space. And I know this is a very like layered uh, explanation of the Thanksgiving Day event. A lot of people figure this out on their own. But we didn't do Thanksgiving last year. And I need to just kind of cover this because uh, I totally missed it. And I, it's not because of neglect. Uh, it was a very important day or la week last week when this was going on. Really important month. But uh, all right. So here's what you get for those green keys, right? You get to choose whatever you want of these. For me, I'm always going to take magazines here. I've always got way too many super equipment chests from, uh, what you call it? Oh, space time and space for, uh, for this, you know, I don't need any of these gems. I really don't need this like, vintage machine. I'll probably just take the melange. And then for this tier, I would take the energy stone cause I'm still collecting guy stones and spirit stones. Remember you can collect those. Uh, but of course, you know, Reinhardt's a great commander to have even with low tier. He's a lot of fun. You don't need a mess class. Uh, but the final tier, this is where it's interesting. Magiwell Reward Box, Nixaw Reward Box, and Voltar Reward Box. You can get five Hancock medals from the Voltar Reward Chest. You can get five Mysterious Warrior medals, right, per one. So if you are currently a Nixaw faction and you want Regina, you can just grab this as your reward so you can get Regina without having to change factions. I think it's huge. I probably should have opened the video with this because of how cool this is. Of course, Hancock is in the mix. And as far as these commanders are concerned, we'll be talking about them more. I am getting replays. Uh, I do have the Mysterious Warrior replay from King Kane that he got a couple weeks ago because he's a savage. Um, you know, uh, We'll cover that in a little bit. The Phantom Pants are here. Uh, damage Reduction, Crit Wither, and Dodge. Wow. I really like these pants for, I mean, infantry versus infantry battles, maybe walker versus airship battles, if you really want to get into that. I'm doing that, uh, I mean, listen, there's a lot of balance builds out there that make like full metal good for a lot of scenarios, elf good for a lot of scenarios, ghillie good for a lot of scenarios, and then there's very specific builds. And these phantom pants, I really don't know exactly where they fit. With damage reduction, you definitely want to get more value out of that, out of that by going against new or the old tier 12. So guys like Ro uh, Rogers are still using that. Reinhardt, but Reinhardt, you can't really crit with a Reinhardt. So like these are good against Rogers, right? Um, crit with her is useless against Elf. They're good against Full Metal. The, the HP Full Metal build they're really good against. That's about it, I think. God, there's probably more, but... Um, not terrible pants. They are super late game pants, and uh, we're just we'll, we'll start rolling that out as weeks come. But uh, it's uh, it's exciting to see there's new commanders and new gear all the time. Shall we do the oracle? All right, let's do the oracle to see how many it takes. Pure crystals, bunch of random chests. Uh, I don't really need any of this. Let's see. Let's see what it takes to get the uh, laser crystal. What do you think, guys? 125. That's my guess. It's usually around 125. We're starting at 1,277. If it's 1,152, that would be 125. 1,152. Here we go. Ten. Wow, that's a good guess. 130. I mean, you'd probably just assume people sent me that all day, but they didn't. They actually didn't. That was just a decent guess because I play this game too much. All right, so about 125 for me. I think I got a little lucky there. It might be 150 for more people there. I'll be announcing the t-shirt contest as the weeks go on. I don't plan on announcing the t-shirt until January, like the actual contest or the actual 
uh, a way to get the t-shirt. So I think like we have at least like two or three more weeks for the t-shirt contest. If you want to design a t-shirt, if you want to commission the design of a t-shirt, come up with a color of the t-shirt, preferably not white. They're going to be white or they're going to be t-shirts, not collared shirts. Uh, so graphic tees, color tees is fine, but not white. So preferably gray, blue, black. Those are the best colors that are most universally uh, worn by people and they can last if they get stained white stains so easily anyway if you have ideas send them to me i'll start collecting those and uh sorting them through to um, getting them out to the right people to review and uh, maybe we'll have like a contest right and we'll give away if one of the t-shirts to whoever wins it something like that yeah contest winners do it like that if you got any ideas send them to me all my contact description is in the information below email me melt uh, melt from yt at gmail.com. I don't know. It's in the description. That's it. We don't need to talk about anything else. Guys, get out there. Kill some pumpkins. I will see you tomorrow.